is a nation. Tell your neighbor again, righteousness raises a nation. Promotes a nation. Are you listening? But sin is a reproach to any people. Chivumo Chivume Chivume Eria Bantu Bona Erio Muntu Yena Amina. Can I read it again? Chidemo. I'm asking, can I read it again? Zidemo Chivasomere. It says righteousness Obutu Kirivu exalts a nation. Buyi Mut raises up a nation lifts up a nation if the nation is walking in righteousness it can't stay down it will be lifted up if a nation okay a nation is made up of a church is made up of families if the family is living right if the church is walking right you can't stay down righteousness promotes a nation can we go on but sin is a reproach it's a curse it's a cancer. It's a disgrace. It's, it's shame. It's a defame. You switch off your phones and help us. It's a defame. It robs a nation of glory. It robs, it robs a person of glory. Are you listening? Amina. It depreciates people. Chisa omuendo guomuntu. People lose value. The moment they entertain sin in their lives. Kastava kiriza echivi mubra muwawe. Are you listening? Uliriza. So he says, sin HB is a reproach Chivume. to any people, yenna. irrespective of color, sin songa irrespective of age, sin songa wamiya irrespective of status, sin songa alikutalachi, whether he's a pastor. Whether he's a businessman, whether he's a manager, whether he's a president, whatever they may be, the moment you entertain sin, you don't stay up, you go down. Sin lowers people. It depreciates people's value. Sin is a curse to any people. To any company. Even if the company has been doing well. The moment they begin to employ their dubious way. Shortcuts. That company goes down. That church goes down. The moment sin is introduced anywhere. It's a reproach to any people. And 
city kingdoms. Are you listening? Tell your neighbor sin is a reproach to any people. Irrespective of who they call you. Irrespective of how old you are. The moment you in, invite sin. Someone put it this way. It will take you further than you are ready to go. It's inviting. It's inviting. It in, it, it's welcoming. Seducing. But the moment you get on board, it will take you farther than you're ready to go. It will make you pay more than you're ready to give. It will hold you longer than you ready to stay. Are you listening? I'm asking, are you listening? Ask your neighbor, are you listening? So it will take you farther than you're ready to go. You may think, I'm going to come on. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? We just ending here. They say, no, we are not yet done. Want to go? No. We have just started. It will keep you longer than you're ready to stay. Take you farther than you're ready to go. Make you pay more than you're supposed to pay. You are, you are, you are willing to pay. It's a reproach to any people. Whether, whether you are a border rider, whether you are working in a bank, whether you are a doctor, whether you are the president, whether you are the pastor, whether you are the apostle, sin is a reproach to any people. To any country. Whether you are the superpower. If, if, you, in, in, you embrace sin. It will reduce that nation. I'm, 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 not, I'm not yet there. I'm just trying to get you on board before we start moving. Are you getting it? I just want you to pay attention. He says, Oh, fear the Lord. You, his saints. He's not talking to the Muslims. He's not talking to the heathens. He's not talking to the witches. He's talking to his people. Because his people sometimes become familiar. Become careless. And live anyhow. Begin to entertain something. Settle down and compromise, and ah, even Pastor So and So does it. Because the Lord is 
No, you are not pastor so and so. Kwetoli musumba gundi. Salvation is not a religion. Oburokole si dini. It's a personal relationship. Unkola gana ya sechi nomu. The Bible says. Bible yamba. When it's when it's talking about the rapture. In Matthew 24, he says, Two will be in the same bed. One will be taken and another one will be left. One will be taken away and the others will be left. So it's known. relationship is between you and him. It's not about our church. It's not about our group. It's about you and your relationship with him. You are not going to hide under hypocrites. You are not going to hide under compromisers. You are not going to give an ex to do something to give an excuse because so and so does it. You want to tell God those things. You're not going to give account before God based on so and so. Uh -uh. And no one is going to stand in for you. Can we go on? So he says, Oh, fear the Lord, you his saint. Look at your neighbor and tell them you were saint. You know, if you, are, if you are not yet a saint when you are alive, when you It is addressing you. You are the saint he is talking about. Say I'm the saint God is talking about. No say it again. I'm the, I'm the saint he is talking about. So I want us to move on. I want you to see something. He says. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. Look at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. When he's talking about fearing God, what is he talking about? He says, The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. One version says is to hate evil. He says, Agamba, fear, the fear of the Lord mukama, is to hate evil. Kwe chibi. Tell your neighbor, hate evil. Okuchawa e chibi. No shout at them and tell them, hate evil. Wogan o mogament, okuchawa e chibi. These few moments may sin disqualifies people. 
Chile teraba ntu okubera nga tebasani de Sin HB Makes the enemy to have an upper hand over your life. Every statement I'm making that is going to be a, that's going to be a series. Are you getting it? And show you in the word of God. Sin. Whatever I'm giving you, those are here. Subtitles sin HB disqualifies people. Chile terabantu okubera ngate basani de sin HB makes the enemy to have an upper hand over your life. Chile tero mulabe okubera no mukono kwama ni kubula mubo sin HB brings you into captivity. Chukule tamu sibe sin HB makes people wild. Get out of control. Sin makes people vulnerable. Anything can happen to them. Are you listening? Sin separates us from God. Sin HB brings sickness. Chileta and what day makes people sick. Chileta and what I remember Zijukira. One day Kenneth Hagin gave a testimony. Omundi Gumu Kenneth Hagin Yawa of Julius. He was preaching Yari Abu Rida and he called out to pray for the sick. Naita Bantu Abarado Basavida. Look at Psalms 107. Jagalolabe Zapuri Chukumi Musambo. Are you there? Otusewo. Look at verses 17. Jagalolabe Olni Rekumi no Musambo. It says, Agamba what? Fools. Abasuru. Abasiru Siru. Abasiru Siru. Because of their transgressions. Or Wobu Bibuabwe. And because of their iniquity. Era no Butaribu Tukiribu Wabwe. Were afflicted, were made sick, became sick. Barwala. Hmm? Are you listening? Answer me, are you listening? He says, fools. Because of their iniquities. And because of their sins. Fell sick. Barwala. Hmm? Are you listening? Their soul abode all manner of food. Ememe yabwe. Nechawa. Nechawa e bulichika chamere chona. Gomunta chana appetite. When someone does not have appetite. They are so sick. Gabalwa denyo. They hated every manner of food. Neva chawa bulichika chamere yona. Hmm? Hmm. And they drew near to the gates of death. And to see what made hmm? Hmm. Hmm. of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them. And delivered them from destruction. But I want you to see something. Fools. Because of their transgressions. And because of their iniquities. They fall sick. Balwala. One day, Jesus is walking. John chapter 9. And he finds a man who is blind. And the disciples asked, Was this man born blind? Because of the sins of the fathers? Or because of his own sins? Meaning, their sicknesses that come in, 
war, because people are not living right. One day Jesus is preaching in Mark. They could not get in because the place is jammed. So they break through the roof, lower down their friend where Jesus was. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Son, your sins are forgiven you. Meaning, this man was sick because he was not living right. And he has, he, has, he has been in that life of sin for long. You know, sometimes you can keep doing something and it looks like God is not even seeing. Someone put it this way. God does not mark, does not take his records every Sunday. Katonda. Man. Okay, let me first finish this one. So, Kenneth Hagen is praying for people in a healing line. Kenneth Hagen yari asabira abantu abali basembedde abalwadde nga abasembedde okusabirwa. He came aka 10 na mukaga. But she has been living a promiscuous life. Nga atambulira mbula mu butali bulunji. As a result she became sick. Era olwo bulamu bwe yali atambulira mu nalwala. And all her female organs were rotting away. They're supposed to operate and take out all the female system. So when he is about to lay hands on her, this scripture came. Fools! Because of their iniquity and because of their sins, they are afflicted. Ba 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 and wondered, what is that? Try to stretch out his hand again. Fools because of their iniquity and their transgressions, they fall sick, they are afflicted. Ba 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 so he asked the Lord, what's that? You see that girl? She has been sleeping around. Because of sin, she's sick now. Unless, until she acknowledges she's that fool, she will not be healed. So the girl began to shout, I am that fool. I am that fool. I've lived a reckless life. I've not honored God. The power of God falls on her and she's healed. Jesus comes by the pool of Bethesda. Yes, Are you listening? He finds a man. He has been sick for 38 years. Are you getting it? He has been sick for 38 years. Are you listening? Tell your neighbor, sick. And the scripture says, 
when he looked at him he knew he had been in that condition for long John chapter 5 this man is waiting to jump into the water to be healed but he kept missing so Jesus meets him he tells him get up pick your bag and walk pick your bed and walk Yesu namugamba kwate ebintu byo tambulo ge He tells him you see now you are well Namugamba nti olaba kati owonyo oli bulungi Oyonone is that what he said Echo che yamugamba go genda and live your life of sin Oh, a worse thing will happen to you. And that's why people lose their healing. They are healed, but go back to that lifestyle. Go back to a life of sin. It's just like T.L. Osborne when he came to Uganda. There was a crusade in 1991 in Logogo. Men, creepers walked. Miracles happened. People just left their crutches in the field. There is this man who was born creeper from birth. He's healed instantly. When he left that place, he went to a bar. Man. He comes to his friends and tells them, Man. The other man talked about a Jesus. The other man was powerful. I was healed. I even left my crutches there. Are you get Get me a glass of beer. He's celebrating for his healing. So after some time, the friends say, Man, he has told them of the testimony, what, what, what? To tumble them, just. He gets up, his back crippled. Sin. HB brings sickness. Chireta endwandi. The Bible says, Bible yegamba, judge yourself. Nti muera mure, least you be judged. Mure me kura murua. Because when God judges you, kubanga katonda kwa kura mura, He hands you over to Satan. Akwaiye ri Satani. And the church didn't do anything about it. But when Paul hears of it, he's like, man, how can you entertain that? Hand over that guy to Satan. That his body may be tormented, afflicted. Maybe his soul can be saved. Because when some people fall very, very sick, they get to understand that I really need to repent. I did say something. If you don't judge yourself, 
and change. No chuka. God will. He will. Like there was a brother. He, would, he was a leader of this group. He would hide away and go to some restaurant and eat. And come back more to Inox Siva. We really need to fast. <laughs> Tell your neighbor one of those days. <laughs> he goes to again like his habit has been. He orders for fish. You know what happened. Pastor you get you come and see. We are fasting. Pastor cannot do that. They find the pastor dying. Have to operate him to remove the bone. Bali ba take it from Mulongo sa okujamu gumberio. Ngwe gumberio di zoko beredala. Your bone might be something different. You may keep doing something and tell you all about it. saying no one is seeing. No one knows. Tell you Wait when they call us to remove the bone. To lind the webana Peter. Okujamu Gumberio. You see, God does not want to ashamed anyone. Katonda. Tayagala kuswaza muntu yena. But if you persist in evil, he will hand you over. Well, oh brother, there is a brother always abused pastors. Abuses them, talks ill about them. He was born again. Them. One day he gets a dream. There was someone sleeping on top of him, but there were. But these stripes were, get, were going to this person who was on top of the brother. So, in the dream, this person told him, I'm almost. He understood that Jesus is almost leaving him. And every arrow will get to him. Sin brings sickness. If you persist in sin, you will fall sick. If the church persists in sin, sickness will never get out of that church. All the time people are sickly. Sickness, sin is the breeding ground of sickness. HIV Is the right atmosphere for devils to have a good day. When people are not living right. When people are not
I tried, but my tongue would refuse. It could not say here. I tried, I can't say here. So I'm praying. And I had a hand take my hand off him. I thought maybe I've been pressing so hard on the brother. So he lays hands again. He had that same hand pick it up. This time, when he lays again, he kept his eyes open, but still felt that hand pick his hand off. And he asked, Lord, this man is not yet 60 years old, or 70. He should not die. He should be healed. And the Lord said, I have been patient with that man for 36 years. To live right. He has, not li he has never lived right for two weeks straight. But at least now, he has managed to live for two weeks straight. He's going to die and have a good time to come up here to heaven. will come to Egypt. Meanwhile, he's making a covenant with him to give him the land. Am I boring you? If I'm boring you, I can stop. Are you listening? He's making a covenant with him that I'm going to give you this land. He makes a covenant. Now he tells him the time first of all he tells him your descendants have to first go to Egypt for 400 years for the sin of the Amorites the, their cup is not yet full they still have a chance to repent. So Egypt, Israel going to Egypt for 400 years was a time of grace for the Amorites to put their houses in order. But you are rotten to the core. Hmm? But I want you to see something. You can't, you can't presume on God's mercy forever. 
One day, the Bible says your sin will find you out. Bible So when Israel comes out of Egypt, God tells them, don't spare anything. Kill everybody in that land. Don't even spare the chicken, kill everything. Sandra, you can slap James and wake him up. Are you getting it? Are you getting the point? Amina. So he says, in other words, the children of Israel are coming and taking the promised land, killing the Amorites, the Jebusites. So now, Kati, judgment had to come in. O Kulamura Kwali could take a duo Kubera. And it's not a good experience. There were some girls. Rachel told them they were ministering in some church there in Mokono. Are you getting it? In the morning, clean up and come. Praise the Lord. Jesus is wonderful. Very powerful singers. Very beautiful. One day, they are coming out of the club. They were shooting bullets and there was a stray bullet that met one of them. Take them to take her to hospital. And as they had, they had, let's take a blood test. She was HIV positive. Let's check also the sister. Both of them are HIV positive. And life was not the same. These mighty men of God would come to the church every time. Every time they'll try to lay hands on this one, they'll just see a kids crying. <laughs> the abortions, the what? And God is like, no, they have to. Someone had to pay a price with his life. Waliwo e yali ateke duo kusasula omwendo no bulamu bwe. And the Bible says, Second Corinthians chapter 15. He says, Verses number 5, 15. He says, And he died for all. That we who live, should no longer live for ourselves. But for him who died for us and rose again. He died for all. This is the reason why he died. 
that you should not continue living like you want to but live as we ought to and one version says he died for all that we who have received this new life we who are born again we who have received Jesus we who have made Jesus Lord and Savior of our lives should no longer live for ourselves but for him for him who died for us and rose again. That's why Paul puts it this way. I've been crucified with Christ. Christ who lives in me. And the life I live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. You cease to live. Let him live his life in you. Sin makes that's why the psalmist puts it this way bless the lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives your sins because your sins are forgiven if they are forgiven you will be healed James chapter 5 verse 14 to verse 16 says he says confess your faults to one another that's first of all is anyone sick among you and the prayer of faith will save the sick and if he has committed any sin they will be forgiven of him because sin makes people sick you can't end Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor sickness feeds on sin. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For there is no lack to those who fear him. I want you today. The reason why I'm sharing with you this, I want to save some of you. You see, we come and pray for a move of God. No, you see, we come and pray for a move of God. Cry out to God to manifest His power, His glory. But my brother, it may not be a pleasant thing when God shows up. Because some of you may drop dead you 
Nini? God is holy. Katonda mutukufu. And atera they are ready. Verse 1 to verse 7. Are you learning something? Answer me, are you learning anything? Then he showed me Joshua the high priest. Listen. Listen. I want to he listen. showed me Joshua the high priest. Before the angel of the Lord. And Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. Man, I don't know whether you're ready for this one. This is a high priest standing before the Lord. And Satan is standing at his right hand to oppose him, to fight him, resist him, hinder him. The Lord say to Satan, Mukama Nagamba Satan. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Mukama Akunenya Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Mukama Alonze Jerusalem Akunenya. Is this not the brand plucked from the fire? Can we The reason why Satan is standing near him to, uh, to resist him, he was putting on filthy garments. Sin is a reproach to any people. This one is a high priest. But he's not living right. His garments are filthy. That's why Satan is near him. To fight him. To resist him. communicating even if I speak to only one person. Satan is standing by him to, have, to hinder him. Satan is standing by him to hinder him. It doesn't matter how much he prays. It doesn't matter how much he sows. It doesn't matter how much he fasts. It doesn't matter who he is. But because the garments are filthy, the devil will stand at his right hand to resist. Him. Now this is a high priest. A, a man representing a whole nation to God. But the devil is standing on his right hand to resist him. 
to hinder him. You will not go there. Toja kenda yo. You will not prosper. Toja kura kura na. You will not break through. Toja kubotola. It will not happen. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you fast. I don't care who they call you. But if your garments are unclean, Satan will be at your right hand. To fight you. To resist you. You will not get married. You will not succeed. Pastor may stand I speak a blessing. I what? If your garments are not clean. It's like you eating and your food drops around the table. Flies come. No over go. You just command them to go. They move around and come back. That's why people don't get delivered. That's why demons keep coming out of them. Every service it is you. Every service it is you. Every service it is you. Watch There is still food. There are still some crumbs that are attracting the devil to come. Come out. Even if it is Ben Hin praying. Come out. Even if it is Pastor Kayanja praying, come out. If, if it is Jesus Himself saying your so, your garments are filthy. Satan has a right. Satan, I know you are not. And the devil knows his privileges. Era Satan, I am a ni. He knows. He knows. As long as she's living not right. The devil is like, as long as she's not living right. I don't care how much they pray. She can't move forward. So the Bible says, Now Joshua was close with filthy garments. You are asking yourself, why am I not moving forward? I've prayed, I've fasted. Why are things not working for me? Why? Maybe your garments are not clean. If it is not working, take yourself. Wake it. So Agamba, he says, Now Joshua was closed with filthy garments. And was standing before the angel. Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him. Saying, take away the filthy garments from him. To him, he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you. The filthy garments were seen in his life. It was seen in his life. He was not living right. And I will close you with rich robes. 
era na kuambaza ebyambalo ebyebeye ebirungi rich ebyambalo ebirungi ebyobugagge ebyebe expensive ebyebe walwa aba mukumwe the sum of you ngachi echi echi keepings okubango yingira mu leven bia it is only Such that the Lord can take you to that level where you have never been. I want to show you. And on his head, and they put clothes on him, and the angel of the Lord stood by. The moment the garments are changed. Satan is nowhere. Satan is not here. We turn the burundis. We just collect it out. We cut the bank. We You just start walking right. Turn the cock. Turn the burundi. A galota, a gabiga, and a kuvambola mu. Those bad dreams are going to get out of your life. Ebi ebi kutuga to gabiga genda. Those things that are strangling you will leave. Muntu no lide. I know what I'm talking about. Are you listening? Are you listening? Then the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts. Listen. If you will walk in my ways, Singo no tambuli na makubo gange. If you keep my commandments, singo no kume bi da kirobiyange. Then you shall also judge my house. Now we watch your own or amura enyumba yange. Likewise, mungeri yemu, and likewise have charge of my courts. Eda owere no buyi nzamu piaza ange. It has. I will trust you with authority. Yeah, I know you are thinking about food. Are you getting it? Answer me, are you getting it? The moment you choose to live for God, there is a dimension of authority you begin to know. You begin to and I will give you places among these who stand here. I will make you to start operating in places. There are places in God. There are realms in God. Of authority. Of power. Of signs and wonders. Of glory. But he calls for consecration. They are different realms of relationship with God. That depend on degrees of cleansing. The deeper the cleansing. The He tells Joshua and you're also going to come and walk in these places. You see these men here? The Kayanjas. Ben Hin, when you consecrate yourself, you will start moving in their rings. 
You will start walking with these people who are always close to me. There are some realms that you will never know until you have left certain things. But if you are still holding on to them, they are still enjoyable to you. You are still giving excuses. You are still compromising. Forget it. Even though you have so many promises. Even if you have a great calling. Even if the Lord speaks to you. If you don't cleanse up yourself. If you don't walk right. There are certain things you will never see. There are certain things you will never tap into. He's telling this Everyone in the nature you are, how you are. Based on your place in the spirit. This afternoon. I'm requesting you this afternoon. Do you still want more or I stop there? No answer me. Do you want more or I stop there? They don't want to can stop there. I will talk to the three who will stay behind. You get this uh, there. Do you still want to hear more or I stop there? I want to show you. Isaiah chapter 6. Yes, Isaiah says In the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord High and lifted up The trail of his robe filled the temple The pillars of the temple began to shake Because of the glory of God are you listening? House was filled with smoke. So I said, Nengamba, woe is me. Zinsanzi. For I am undone. Kubanga sinna mala. Because I'm a man of unclean lips. Kubanga ni musadjo waka mwaka chaf. And I dwell among people of unclean lips. Erambe la mubantu abaina of mubu chaf. For my eyes have seen the king. Kubanga amaso gange galabye kabaka. The Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongues from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is purged. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? 
That's the father. Oh, tata. The son. Mutabani. The son. Isaiah, Isaiah has been prophesying for five chapters. Abade alagula okumala esura tano. What happened in chapter six? Checha ba wo musule yomukaga. What had he been doing the first five chapters? Chiche yadi akola musule soke tano. Because he had not had. Here I am saying he had not received the call. He had been prophesying. But these shallow prophecies, general happiness. But the moment the call touched his lips. He got into realms he never thought before. The man prophesies the coming hundred years before it happens. To the detail. He prophesies about Cyrus and even calls him out by name. into a place of revelation he had never been before there are certain things you can do you can try to do this you can do this but there are realms you will never know in there are certain secrets that you will never know until when you have consecrated yourself for God until when you have let loose of certain things Sin is a reproach to any people. It's a curse. It's a cancer. It will destroy the whole ministry. It will destroy your whole business and whip it out. Yesterday. We had the crusade of Pastor Kayanja. As I'm seated, I'm standing there. One man comes to me and says, I think you look like a pastor. Are you a pastor? He said, yeah. So he begins to tell me a story. I got saved at Liberty Christian Center. Pastor Namtebi was my pastor. I began to prosper. I became so rich. I would park five cars in my compound. I had this, that, that. But yes. one day I wanted to do good to my family members. And they told me I wanted to please. Nalini na emoto kajebaita Mark X 
someone just came and said let me just drive here he just had an accident to ashes I lost everything and I told him you know what you entertained sin in your life and he's there lamenting I told him but now if you repent God is going to restore you he says return to your stronghold you prisoners of hope even today I declare I'll restore double to you Zachariah 9.12 I rested now to you. I told him you see all those powerful cars. You drive them. You get back to your level. But don't entertain sin in your life. Sin destroys homes destroys churches. Reduces nations to desolations. It's my prayer, my brothers and sisters. Examine yourself. If you're not living right with God, put your life right. Before it's too late. Close your eyes where you are. Oh, to Jesus I say, oh, to Jesus I surrender. Yes, Jesus. And He died for all. That we who live should no longer live for ourselves. And rose again. If there are certain things you are compromising in your life, but when you know that the Lord does I want you to repent of them. I want you to take them away. Before it's done. Talk to God where you are. Oh, to Jesus. Oh, forsaken. <laughs> 